It's like a dating agency for hedgehogs, isn't it? He's going to get his picture in the Times to find his mate. Well, this is the most publicised hedgehog release ever. We released lots of hedgehogs this time of year. They got up to wait, they're ready to go. We're in a back garden in West Horsley, so it's beautiful. There's woodland out the other side. She'll go out, she's got plenty of time to find a hibernation spot. She can go out into the woodland, she'll meet other hedgehogs and do what hedgehogs do. But the people down here from the Times, um, they do a pet animal register and uh, they're interested in hedgehogs because their numbers are so diminishing that we need to do everything we can to protect hedgehogs and in fact all British wildlife to be honest. But if the hedgehog could be our flag waver for all British wildlife, that would be amazing because they're iconically British, uncontroversial, and they're the gardener's best friend. Bye bye, little hedgehog. Yeah, I'm just going to slope off in here and see what's going on and have a little trottle through this. Yeah. She'll naturally just be able to find food and things. She won't be. Yeah, she, she, she'll dig for food. Yes, very happy to have a hedgehog in our garden. She eats all, eats all the slugs. Um, it's very good. And especially as she was found here anyway, so it's nice to have that she's been re released here. Well, she's right against the fence now. I wonder if she'll be able to get through. Well, hedgehogs can flatten themselves down quite well and go through quite small gaps, and we'll see any second now whether she's going to or not. Her first natural hazard overcome. I'm away from the humans. She's through. <laughs> I'm just really glad you didn't have chain link fence around your garden because that could be absolutely lethal to hedgehogs if they get stuck in it. If you like our videos, click on the subscribe button. Every new subscriber means we can save more wildlife.